Hello friends, this video on circles part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So here uh, two equal chords intersect within a circle. We have to prove that the line joining the point of intersection, this point, to the center of the circle, that is this point, there is a line join a line and they make equal line with the chord. Angle 1 is equal to angle. We can easily prove it, right? We can just draw the circle. Sorry, this uh, two triangles here, these two perpendicular. So if these two A, B, and C, D are equal, I'll not solve this completely for you. Similar to what we have done earlier. So then, and let this be O, M, and N, and let this be P. So then O, M will be equal to O, N. Why? Because A, B is equal to C, D. O, P is equal to O, P common side. Right? And this angle and this angle are same. Okay, so by RHS you can see that these two triangles are congruent OMP and ONP. So if these two triangles are congruent, you can see that these two angles are equal. Okay, this MPO and NPO. Okay, let's take one more example. If a line intersects two concentric circles with center O, A, B, C, D, prove that A, B is equal to C, D. So we have two concentric circles. Concentric circles means they have the same uh, center. Right? O is center for both the circle. And this line actually intersects this at point A, B, C, D. We have to prove A, B is equal to C, D. See, if you draw a perpendicular here, and at this point BP, I can say that BP is equal to PC. Why? Because BC is a chord and OP is a perpendicular line from the center. Similarly, for a bigger circle, chord is AD, I can say that AP is equal to PD. Correct? This length AP will be equal to PD. And in this case, this length will be equal to this length. When we subtract these two equations, what do you get? AP minus BP is equal to PD minus PC. So let's do that. AP minus BP is what? AB. And PD minus PC is what? CD. And that is our proof. Pretty easy. So we have to prove that this is equal to this. We know that this is equal to this and this bigger thing is equal to this bigger thing. So we can actually subtract them to show that AB is equal to CD. Three girls. Reshma, Salman and Mandi. So let me be three girls. Reshma, Salman and Mandi. So they are playing a game by standing on the circle of radius 5 cm. So here R is equal to 5 cm. Reshma throws a ball to Salman, Salman to Mandi and Mandi to Reshma back. If the distance between Reshma and Salman is given, and between Salman and Mandi is 6 cm each. This is 6 and this is 6. These two distances are given. What is the distance between Reshma and Mandi? So let's join this. This distance we have to find. And what we know is this distance. So let's join these also. So this is 5 and this is 5. Correct? Anything else we know? So we know one thing that if you draw a line from here, if we join this, let's try it. that helps, right? And somehow if we can prove that this is 90 degree, then actually we can uh, find this distance. But we need to prove that it is 90 degree. Okay. Let's uh, give a point name here, N. So if we can prove, first is to prove angle O and M is 90 degree. So if we can prove that angle O and M is 90 degree and there is a cache here, the cache is there, these two lengths are same. So with using that, if we can somehow prove that uh, this angle is 90 degree, we can actually apply Pythagoras theorem to get the answer. Let's see if we can prove it. See, both the chord RS and SM are of length 6. So both the angles subtended by this chord at the center will be same. Right? 
If the angle is same and this and the same, this is also a common length. So if you see angle ORM and OMN both will be congruent. So let's see this. One is O R N, second is O M N. And let's see this. O R is equal to OM, O R is equal to OM. Correct. Angle R O N is equal to angle N O M. These two angles are also equal. O N is a common sign. So we see side angle side, side angle side. So by SA they are congruent. So I can say that triangle RON is congruent to triangle MON by side angles. So if they are congruent, that means this angle is equal to this angle. Correct? That is ONR. ONR will be equal to ONM. Therefore, angle ONR will be equal to angle ONM. Correct? These two angles will be equal corresponding angles. Right? But angle ONR plus angle ONM is equal to what? 180 degree linear pair. Therefore, they are both 90 degree. Therefore, angle ONR is equal to angle ONM is equal to 90 degree. So we have proved that. First part, this is 90 degree. Right? So once this is 90 degree, now we can see if we can prove other stuffs. So what we have to find? We have to find the, this distance. Now we know that if this is the 90 degree, then now since this is 90 degree, that means uh, perpendicular from center to the chord, it will bisect the chord. Therefore, Rm will be equal to Nm. Correct? So we have to find two of twice of Nm actually. Correct. So let's see if we can do something here. We know that this is 5, this is 5. In fact, this whole thing is also 5. And uh, let's put some numbers here if you want. So we can put, uh, we can say this is x. That is on is x. And ns will be what? 5 minus x. Why? Because os is 5 centimeter. Correct? Radius. Now if we can just see, uh, write a Pythagoras theorem in triangle O and M, I can say that O M square minus O N square will be N M square. What is O M square? I square. What is O N square? X square. And that is equal to N M square. Similarly, another triangle M N S. M N S. I can say that ms square minus sn square is equal to nm square hypotenuse square minus height square base square so what is ms square 6 square minus this is what 5 minus x square is equal to nm square so in both the equation you have nm square on the right hand side you can actually equate this two we can equate this if it comes 5 square minus x square equal to 6 square minus 5 minus x square. So all this 5 square minus x square is equal to 6 square is equal to minus 5 square is equal to minus x square is equal to plus x. This gets cancelled. So you solve this, you get 10x and the but 25 minus 36 plus Fifty minus thirty-six that is fourteen, or you get x as one point. Once you got the value of x, we can actually easily find the value of n m. Correct. So let's find the value of n m. Let's put here n m is nothing but root of five square minus x square. That is root of five square minus one point four square. So you saw this, you get 4.8. Distance is already meter. So I'll say 4.8 meter. So once you've got Nm, you can easily get Rm. Right? So Rm is equal to twice of Nm. 
that is twice of 4.8 meter is equal to 9.6 meter and that is my answer. Pretty easy. So what we have done here is we knew that this lens are equal, this lens is also 5 centimeter, we know that and we just tried to prove if we can make it 90 degree because if it is 90 degree this lens are equal right so we, we are more comfortable in solving it and we first proved this to be 90 degree once this was 90 degree we could say that Rm is equal to twice Nm and then we can actually use the Pythagoras theorem to find the value of Nm. A circular park of radius 20 cm is situated in the colony. Three boys, Ankur, Shayed, and David, are sitting at equal distance on its boundary, having a toy telephone in his hands to talk to each other. There are three boys, Ankur, let me write Ankur, Sayed, and this is David. So let this point be A, S, and B. Right. They are sitting on the equal uh, distance from the boundary and they are having a telephone uh, wire. So we have to find the length of each phone. So we have to find AS plus ST plus AD. Correct. And this is an equilateral triangle. So triangle ASD is equilateral. Okay, so you have to find the length of each phone. So we have to find the length of anything. We can find the length of SD or AS or AD, anything. So we have to find, let's suppose you find SD. Okay, and now these meet at point, let's say G. This is an equilateral triangle. Okay, this is the center. And if you see here from the center, to the chord and this actually in the equilateral triangle if you draw this G is the centroid centroid of equilateral triangle ESD see all these lengths are equal right G A G S G D all are equal correct and they are nothing but the radius G is the center Correct. That means G is the centroid actually of this triangle. So I can say that AG by G, let's put some value here P, and it will be 90 degree actually. This is the center, this 90 degree is actually bisects. Right? So AG by G will be what? 2 is to 1 because G is the centroid. What is the value of AG? AG is given 20 meter. 20 meter by GP is equal to 2 is to 1. So with that you get GPS 10 meter. This is 20 meter and this is 10 meter. This is 20 meter, right? So now if you see this triangle GPD. So we know that this is 10, this is 20. We can easily find PD. PD will be nothing but root of GD square minus GP square. We know the value of GD, the radius. 20 square GP 10. If you solve this, you get root of 400 minus 100. It is root of 100. So this uh, root 3 10 or 10 root 3. 10 root 3 meter. That is the value of PD. But we want to find what? SD. So SD will be equal to twice of PD. That is 2 into 10 root 3. That is 20 root 3 meter. So why SD is equal to twice of PD? Because this is 90 degree. So from center, you draw a line perpendicular to the chord and that line will actually bisect the chord. Converse theorem. Okay. So you get 220 root 3 as line of, uh, length of one of this uh, phone wire. So there are three of such phone wires. The total length will be 20 root 3 into 3. It is 60 root 3, but they are not asked for that. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.